Okay, Keith here with uh, Beat the Casino and the world famous. Can is he that way or this way? He's this way, huh? Okay, I I'm, I gotta sure. remember to look. No, yeah, it's I the think other he, way. I think is he this way or that way? I don't. <laughs> it's know. the other way. It's the other way. Okay, well, with uh, world famous Canada Bach here, we had a wanted to get together and talk some more about uh, the real popular uh, vertical and horizontal uh, confirmation. I think you call it Canada and. Uh, you know, talk more about it and, uh, you know, go a little bit more in depth, take a look at a couple more shoes and give some folks into insight into uh, some of your playing strategies. And uh, of course, uh, away you go. So uh, what's up? I see you got a nice uh, picture of uh, Wind Creek behind you there. We played yeah. there quite a bit. No, so. I mean, when we went there, this I took this picture. It was just phenomenal because I have a, a wide lens camera. So it was amazing how beautiful it came out. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So what do you want to start here? Do you want me to pull up a shoe or how do you want to start no, off? Do you want to preface something here a little bit, set it up No, a I just, bit? you know, uh -huh. I wanted to have this conversation is because I had a lot of folks reach out to me and say, yeah. you know, I mean, this strategy that you have, uh, I mean, it's very similar to V87, which is true. But I, you know, my point is that V87 only looks at up to three in a rows, right? Because right, that's right, the eighty-seven percent right. of what most of the shoes are. Right. Uh, there's a slight, slight twist with this one that I will talk about. Also, is that because we are actually playing, obviously, we are very selective about the bets that we play. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I've mentioned this last time also that it's not for everybody. And the problem with this system is if you're sitting on a table, let's just say it's a hundred-dollar table. Okay. A lot of the folks, and I've seen that when I was sitting down playing the Bakra confirmation, is that you're so tempted to bet what everybody else is betting, yeah. <laughs> even though you don't want to play the next hand. And you also feel that maybe this is going to come. Like we were talking about the other day that if you're following the shoe and everybody else, is there's no difference because when you follow a shoe and you follow other players yeah and and six out of the seven players are following the shoe or you following them it's the same thing right <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but, exactly but that's not what your mindset is when you went into that specific shoe your right. mindset is i'm going to play vertical and horizontal baka confirmation and nothing else I don't care what everybody else is doing because what happens is when they're winning thousands of dollars when they're betting Right. You feel like you lost that opportunity and you're so tempted. And this is yeah. this is psychological that you got to think about that if you played this on a stadium, you don't have to worry about it, right? Yeah. Just like the stadium behind me. Right. Because, you know, you yeah. on your own. And these days with the COVID, you have a, a section missing in between between each person, right? Right, and, right. But, but if you're sitting on a table and if you're sitting on a high limit table, it becomes a problem Problem playing this kind of a system. And I'm not saying that play this specific system. There are 10 systems you can play. Of course. But but if this is some a system which you are going with your mindset, then you should kind of stick to it because this is where the downfall comes is where people go in with a certain attitude and, this, and they say, okay, I'm going to play time before last or whatever. And something happens and they start playing something else and then everything gets blown away and your bankroll is just kind of demolished is destroyed yeah, absolutely you know? i mean okay. i was i was just talking to somebody Ooh. in australia uh-huh and uh, and he was telling me that you know i tried all this I, i'll try the systems and then i win and then i lose i said well the lose is not what we want to <laughs> see and right. and I, and i and i've noticed something about it is so difficult for a lot of the players even for some of the club members that they're so used to a certain type of a system or a way of playing the game that they do not like change, you know, because they see other people playing the same way that they've been playing for 10, 10 years. Right. They know all this, what the club has to offer, but they're so afraid to apply because they're not, they haven't taken that leap of faith in, right. in to making that effort right mm -hmm. but i think the biggest problem is also confidence you know i mean if you notice all these things that i'm talking about they're so psychological because the the game itself when you are in a jam it really puts you in a spot where you know you kind of lose your momentum you lose your way of thinking about how to play the next hand because 
now you're down and you're losing a bankroll and and you make the wrong decisions right yeah yeah and this yeah. and this, uh, this horizontal and vertical bakra kind of helps in that way because you don't play every hand you skip a few hands and it gives you more time to think about the next hand Right. Yeah, it does. It does. Well, no, it's 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 another you know arsenal. Uh, yeah, another arsenal. <laughs> another approach. approach in the arch arsenal of tricks that we have, and you know it's certainly one that's popular and worthwhile. And you know that's why we're here to present it and give you the high level on it. You know, it's funny you mentioned that. I always, you know, I always get uh, it's it's funny. I I, I get these uh, comments on my page, and I, I usually just ignore them. And I got engaged in one the other day. You know guy talking about systems and he goes i'm sure my system is better than yours but you already know that i you know and then i got to answer him again and go you look man we don't sell systems we're we're a club we right. talk about every way to play we talk about analyzing the game and betting what you see and you know uh, we have players at all levels all contributing together to try to come up with the best way to play and you know, input from uh, from their experience and, you know, kind of mentor mentorship relationship with uh, new players and, and some other players. But man, hell, man, we talk about every system, you know, I mean, name one we haven't talked about in one approach and one statistic. I mean, we're constantly looking at everything. But anyway, to make a long story short, you know, they're always talking about the long term odds. And then I got to go through the whole rigmarole of the, you know, why look in the long term odds they are always going to come out. Right. They're always going to come out within the normal distribution because the more and more sample you throw at something, the less significant, even if you find a bias, if you just keep throwing random sample at it, OK, it's going to over the long haul come out to a normal distribution again, even if there's a signable cause, if there's even a reason, if they set the deck up for 100 hands, eventually, if you throw a million hands at it, it's going to look normal. And I, I don't. So so the long term odds, folks. You know, I, I get tired of, of talking about it with them uh, because they don't quite get, uh, at least it's my perception, that if you throw enough sample at anything, it's going to come out even in the long term. But we're playing one shoe, one system that has a beginning and an end. And we're looking at the sample as we go along with vertical and horizontal or with any approach. We're looking at the statistics. And if we find a bias, we're going to bet that when that game is over. We take a whole new sample. We don't look at it. Okay, well, we're betting over a million hands, and what's your advantage over a million hands? There's none. Okay, it's it's going to come out level set if you play a million hands. Okay, but if you find a bias in this one shoe, and you exploit it, now you're good. And that, that's what we're after. And that's what I have a hard time getting folks to understand. And even let's you know, let's say for instance, if you would find a shoe with 72 bankers, okay. Well, obviously, we'd all jump on that bias and, and say, well, that, you know, in randomness, that's probably impossible. But if we just keep throwing game after game after game in that sample, it's eventually going to get buried in a million hands of sample. And you're not even going to notice that bias unless you look at individual games. And that's what we're doing. We're analyzing individual games. We look at each one of them as not a subsection, but as its own complete unit. And it does. That's the beauty of Baccarat. It has a beginning. It has an end. And once they're in the shoe, nothing can change. Okay, blackjack things can change. People can hit. They have subjectivity. There's none. Once it's in that shoe, if there's a bias and you find it, whether it's by random chance or some assignable cause, it ain't gonna change. It's probably gonna continue. And that's that's what vertical and horizontal is all about. So right, right, absolutely. With, with that said, you know, maybe I got off track there a little bit but you want me to put up a shoe here first uh canada or uh, what do we yeah yeah do? why don't you bring up uh, a, a shoe for sure okay okay let's see share screen here uh, i think i got From it the set beginning. Up there. yeah yeah i think uh there you go can you see that one yeah i can see it yeah okay so there we have hand one uh let me readjust here now forgive me for not looking at the camera uh it's probably better anyway um right. <laughs> Going to lean back a little bit here. I have the shoe up. It's just a little bit more comfortable. So uh, everybody can see that. So let me get, let me do a couple hands here. This is shoe 9080 uh, Casino Rama. Okay. Yeah. Played by you in uh, 2021. Let's take a look at this here. Uh, let's go hand over hand. And, uh, you know, stop me when you think I got far enough uh, to make some commentary here. Obviously, you're not going to. Well, the best three. time to stop is after we've confirmed the uh, the banker and the player. So 
So now we've confirmed uh, that okay. the player, we had a player one in a row. We have a banker two in a row. Yes. Uh, uh, vertically. And now we know that we can now obviously bet on banker because we have a confirmed one in a row on the player side, right? Uh, right. Okay. Simplest so, way you can put it, right? Yeah. Just so, like falling the shoe. So we're going to go ahead and bet bank here. Yeah. Uh, okay. We missed that one. Okay, so then we skip because you don't have confirmation on two in a rows. No, 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 two in a rows. No, three oh, in a rows. Confirm. No three in a rows. Yeah. Nothing. And this is where all the high limit people are betting, and you're just sitting there looking at them winning. You know. Yeah. Can you can you sustain yeah. that? That. Yeah. That's no. that's the key right there, right? Can you right. sustain it? Keep going. Okay. There's okay. our our uh, banker uh, one. Right, so we, we know we don't have a one going opposite no. yet confirmed, so we can play repeats here, right? Yeah, so we'll go with the repeat here. Right. Got that one. And now then, we have a confirmed two. Right, so we can play opposite. We're going to go opposite. You know, it's the, it's the simplest way that you can play this game if you understand how it's supposed to be played, right? Right. Uh, so we don't play the next hand because now the problem is we've had a one in a row and we have a four in a row, right? Right. So, so we this have is where you got to be very careful. Only because you're getting a cluster to repeat does not does not mean that this is going to repeat, right? Right. So you skip this hand. We're going to skip. Okay. Now, what do you think we should do next? I'm going to put you on the spot here. You're going to put me on the spot. Yeah. Well, we don't have a confirmed two in a row, or we don't have a, 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 a so we're going to go ahead and wait. Uh, on and no, we're going to repeat because oh. the, the two in a <laughs> row, we don't have a two in a row going opposite, right? Oh, okay. We don't have a two in a row. So we have on. a confirmed one in a row, but we don't have a confirmed two in a row. So you play repeat. Okay. Okay. Right, so, so we'll play, play repeat. repeat. Got me on that one. Okay. All right. Keep going. So we win that, and then we play the next hand because we don't have a three in a row confirmation, right? So we're going to bet repeat here again. Yeah. You're getting the hang of it. Yeah. I got it. I ain't perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we have a four in a row, so we're probably going to go opposite here. There you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. We got that one. Okay. Okay. So, and we get the next one to repeat. We got it. Now we're going opposite. Yep. Now, okay. now, now we don't play because even though the one in a row went opposite came very early in the shoe, right. and as you can see, everything is repeating. It it is up to your discretion. If you want to play repeat here, you can. But based on the rules of horizontal and vertical bakra confirmations, you do not play the next hand. Okay. Whatever happens, well, went opposite there. Okay. Right. So it's a good thing you didn't play. Right. Right. Exactly. But you should play the repeat on the banker side. On the banker side, because we haven't yeah. had a one in a row. Banker. Right, exactly. Right. Okay, we got that. Okay, keep going. So you'll next play the next hand opposite. Opposite. We got that. And then you skip the next hand because we had a one. Yep. We, we had, had a one in a row. And we had opposites. So we, it's right. all kind of mixed up. Here. Right. Okay, so now here we're going to play repeat, obviously. Correct. Correct. Uh, okay. And we'll probably try it one more time. Yep. We got it. Going yeah. opposite. There you go. Well, good shoe. Uh, obviously, repeat here. Yeah. Yep. And now opposite. Right. And this is where the bias is. You can clearly see that the, yeah, you, yeah, the yeah, banker hasn't gone down more than two in a row. So you've got to take full advantage of that. And it happens a lot in the shoe. Okay. Uh, we're, we're a hold here then? Because yeah, we're on a hold definitely because we can clearly see we've had a one in a row go opposite and we have a, a four in a row only. We don't have right. anything more than that. So we just wait. Okay. okay. Now, you, now you play repeat. You Not win. That. And you repeat play repeat again. again. Yep. Yeah, okay. And you lost? Lost that one. Okay. So here we're going to try the repeat since yep. we haven't lost on that. Yep, yep. On the banker side, lost that one. Okay, now you skip. Yeah. Okay, so this now. is the what has happened now. This is the first time that the shoe is actually now moving in another direction, right? Because we haven't had two in a row go opposite. Okay. Back to back. So, hey, either you can catch this run 
you know, you call it ping pong or chop chop, or zig-zag. you can, or you can wear yeah, zigzag. You can wait. It's up to you. Okay. This is where I'm saying that you should take advantage of a situation where you are. If you have a zigzag, take advantage of it. If you have a long run, take advantage of it. So it's up to your discretion. I would, you know, obviously take advantage here. Okay. See. So okay. So w- w- when you're playing vertical and horizontal here, you have. Now, when we count, um, when we count a, uh, um, uh, let me let me just get some annotation up here, so I can spotlight stuff here. So Wait, when I, we I, yeah, go ahead. when we when we count zigzags, we always start with the last one of the run. So this is one, two, three. So we would consider that a four zigzag at this point. Not most folks look at it and say it's a three. But you right. got to count this one, the last one, because it went one, two, three. So the run is is uh, right. is four zigzag. Uh, so they'll come out if you count them that way. That the the straight runs and the zigzag runs come out even. But so you would take advantage of it when when you see a zigzag run. I'm I I, I usually don't if I'm if I'm specifically playing vertical and horizontal backer confirmation. You really truly do not play the next hand, right? But if you would like to pick up the run, I think it's it's not a bad idea for anybody. Yeah. Because remember, you only lose the last hand, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. You only lose. Now, the, the nice thing about ones, and, and I think folks lose sight of that, this too, is that ones, uh, opposites, opposites after one, in other words, confirm ones are the most common event. So you're going to play right. into a, something that's going to occur 50% of the time. Now, obviously, you know, two or more in a rows all equal the ones, but we're, 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 we're kind of, it, it's, if you're into this and you get some indication of it, sometimes it's not a bad idea to your point to do it because they are going to be the most common event. Absolutely. Uh, yes. And, you know, so, so let's go ahead and, and right. hit this one uh, next hand. Well, we we missed it. all the logic right. in the world didn't save us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I think we're up about five or six from this point, and then we lost two. So, uh, okay, so two, we're going to still go opposite here, or Correct. are we going to yeah. wait because of this? No, uh, it's it's pretty straightforward that we have confirmed two in a row for banker side, so you always play opposite. Okay, okay, right. Okay, so we got that. Right, and now okay. you skip. Okay, so th- there's a question for you. Yeah. Right here, you had to confirm two in a row. Right. Okay, so the reason we're not playing this, and, and some folks may see this, and like, you have some confirmed one in a rows here, and you don't have any confirmed two in a rows. Uh, so the, would that be player, a bet? For the player side. Yeah, for the player side. Right, no, because we've had one in a row confirmed three times in the past, right? Yeah. And we've had a three in a row and a, and, a, and a four in a row. So it's like it's the player is very unstable. Oh, it's all okay. over the place. You've had three different types of instances for that. For banker, you've only had two. So this is where you kind of just sit back and wait and see what happens next or with okay. the player. Okay. Now we got the two. Right. This now is a better, bet. yeah. This is a better chance for you to play a repeat here because we don't have a confirmed two in a row, right? Right. No two in a row. Okay. Right. Let's go ahead and bet it. Oops. Okay. Missed oh. that one. Okay. And then now, you would not play the next hand. Okay. Okay. And again, you wouldn't play the next hand. Now, okay. right here, this is this is a good observation. From a horizontal confirmation, okay. we've had we've had a two in a row back to back before before the banker came down in the right. past, right? Right. So most of the folks think this is going to be a long chop chop. I was going to just keep going, but because you have a confirmed two in a row back to back going opposite, you should actually play repeat here. Yeah, and you're doing that because of this is what happened exactly, here. Exactly, exactly. Okay. And this is, so, you know, you, you have to confirm both horizontal and vertical. People are so focused on the vertical side that yeah. they forget what happens yeah. horizontally also, right? Right, and I think this is the first time that this really came up. Like, okay, so one, two, three, four, and then it went repeat. 
one, two, three, four. So right. we're expecting this bank or something. But I think if you can already see that the, yeah. the shoe is starting to change a little bit, but you just kind of keeping a very strong focus on exactly what it's doing and you're trying to stay with those patterns if possible, right? And it's right. as you can see clearly here, you want this bet. And, right. and, and we also know that the banker hasn't gone beyond two in a row. So you should be playing opposite, which is very close to following the shoe. It's very close to how 87% is played out too. But yeah. there is that difference that you have to keep in mind where you cannot play every hand and you have to be very selective about the hands that you do play. Well, the, the fact that, you know, you, you, you counted this zigzag run here playing it vertically. Okay. So here's, a situation that occurred and then the same setup only started with player and then it's set up again and did it actually again. because so. if, if you remove the last hand for a second if you just kind of remove the last hand yeah it is it, it, it shows you as if it's really going to go on a chop a chop chop right or a zigzag, yeah, right yeah it, it, it looks it, that way yeah and until you have a confirmation, you really do not know what's happening in the shoe because right. over here it looks oh my god this could be a five six seven chop chops right right but guess what happens if you play the next hand? It actually came down. Yeah, it came down just like it did here. Yeah, right. So exactly. Exactly. Okay. So we'll go opposite here. I would right. imagine. We got that one. Okay. Right. And then you so, skip. And we'll skip. Yeah. We don't know what's going on there. Okay. And, two. And we keep skipping. Yep. Yeah. Ones and twos now. Yeah. Okay. Keep skipping. Yeah. There you go. We keep sp skipping again. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so now it's set up again with this yeah, four yeah. zigzag and then repeat. Right. So we're so, going to go ahead vertical bet a vertical bet here of uh, right, right of repeat banker. Yeah. banker. Okay, and we got that. Okay, right. great. Okay, now we're going to go wait opposite. Yeah, opposite. Right. Oh, because of okay. So if you played vertically, this went opposite after that pattern. Here's right. the other pattern when. So it, here's the other pattern that went opposite. Now it's it's you're not betting because you're looking at these. You're betting because you're looking at going this way. Correct? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. That's interesting. We got it. Okay. Right. Yeah. And skip. Right. Skip. Skip. Okay. And keep skipping because oh sorry I mean you play opposite here sorry. Okay, skip, skip, play opposite. Oh, okay. okay. So this is the first time that, that we have had a three in a row on the banker yeah. side, right? Because now the shoe is starting to change, right? Yeah, so, so not you, it here. Yeah, you don't play the next hand because you don't know which direction it's going. Yeah. Now, if you want to catch a run, be my guest. You know, again, nobody's stopping anybody to not catch a run because now a lot of the folks think this is actually going, and they were playing that way, actually. I wasn't, but, you know, everybody caught the run here. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. And it makes sense because, I mean, you could have won three in a row and then lost one, right? So it's okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can try it. Looks like it may be getting into a little bit of a stronger bag now. Right, exactly. If you if you're gonna start thinking like that, but you gotta be careful. You know, you, you're up. We're up. Uh, I don't know, five or six, seven units probably at this point. Right, right, right. You know, so you know maybe it's time to think about getting out of this game. You know, or do you want to adjust your strategy? You know, mm -hmm. it, there's two definite sections of the shoe, probably starting right around here, and then you know, here where they were clustering up. So, you know, and it always remains, well, is it a bias or is it just, you know, it just changed, you know, right. or is it just simply random? I mean, everything's kind of mixed up, you know, but we are finding patterns kind of within patterns and, uh, you know, you know, it's, it, it doesn't matter if it's, uh, if it's a little bit of luck involved or if it's a little bit of bias involved, either way you win, right? <laughs> or, or greed, because if you're playing hundred dollars a hand, how, how many hands do you want to win Right. Make exactly. 500, 500 to 600 dollars. I mean, are you looking to make three thousand dollars out of this shoe? Is that what your your mindset is? No. Right. I mean, you, you got to understand where, and where can you make that kind of money in a job if you are going to be not patient enough to play this shoe the way that I'm explaining, because you can walk away with, you know, lots of units, you know.
Okay. So here we have the two in a row. What are we doing here? Okay. We don't do anything. We just skip because we okay. don't know if it's going to come down. Okay. So 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 the the only thing uh, the only time the vertical comes into play is when you have an extended zigzag. You wouldn't but, bet just for anybody, you know, probably seeing <laughs> this type thing here. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so, I cannot I cannot play the next hand because the last time the banker actually came down more than two in a row, right? Yeah, right, right. So it's a quite a it's a risky proposition. But if we had a three in a row, perhaps I could have played because we haven't had a confirmed three in a row as an example, right? Right. So okay. keep going. Yep. Okay, so we have the setup again. One, right. two, three, four. So are we gonna bet that the uh the player will come down? Yes. Okay. Because we had a zigzag only confirmed two in a row, right? Right, right here. Right here. So we should play, yeah, we should play here. repeat. Here's our vertical and here's our vertical. Or horizontal, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, horizontal. So yeah. we play re repeat here. Yeah. We got that one. There you go. And we're gonna go opposite. But if you look at the design of the there it of, is. That, of that, it's it, it was more it was player, banker, player, player. In the last two times, it was banker, player, banker, banker, right? Right, right. So the design can change, but the horizontal confirmations remain the same. Okay, let's take a look at the next hand. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Okay. We should play repeat here because we don't have a confirmed three in a row. Okay. I agree? Because we, we don't have a confirmed three in a row. Yeah, every, yeah there's nothing. Yeah. And, and this one went longer, so I guess right. we'll play it. Okay. Right. Okay, so we got that. And just keep and going. Again, yeah. Because still... we haven't had a four in a row. And okay, we would have so lost, which is yeah. fine, but we didn't have a confirmed four in a row either, right? Yeah, that's right. So okay. now we skip. And we skip. And we skip. And we don't have a confirmed three in a row here. Not yet. Now we can play it. Now we'll play it. Yeah. Oh, we lose. Okay. Keep going. And you can bring up the rest of the shoe because I don't think I played any more after that. Oh, okay. maybe call, maybe picked up one or two in a run. Yeah, there. exactly. Uh, yeah, an interesting. Uh, an, an interesting shoe for sure there, Canada. Um, I mean, the thing is that people are too focused on trying to win 20, 30 hands, you know, in a shoe. Yeah. I mean, how many hands do you really need to play to win if you have a bankroll of $2,500 or if you have a bankroll of $5,000 and we're playing $10 or $50 a hand? I mean, right. play, one, play one shoe, make $500 and <laughs> wait for the next shoe, you know? Yeah, right, 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 right. Casinos right, right. are not going anywhere, right? I no, mean, they're certainly patient, they're certain, you know? Yeah, they're certainly not. So, well, a good shoe. Uh, any other closing comments on, on this uh on this shoe that uh, maybe you want to make or, you know, that uh, or tips and tricks about. Uh, well, I mean, if you, are, if you are playing, follow the shoe, you perhaps will do very well anyway. Right. But the challenge is maybe this specific shoe didn't change as much as some of the other shoes change. Right. Right. So the question is, do you want it to really change on you and destroy your bankroll? Or right. do you want to be very selective about your bets and not be greedy and just pick up a few units and move on to the next shoe? That's yeah. my advice. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I like your, I mean, all you need is four or five units of shoe, you know, if you, you can get that you're in pretty good shape. And I think this is a nice conservative way to, to, to look for things. And, uh, you know, like I said, if you find a, you know, some sort of assignable cause of, uh, of why it occurred, some non-randomness, great. You'll bet it if it happens by random chance and you get lucky. Great. But, uh, you know, I think the vertical and horizontal, as with most all the approaches that we look at is we got to remember, we're just looking at this shoe. We're just trying to find a bias in this shoe, okay? And right. if we find one, by if it's random chance, great. Okay, we got lucky in one. If it's for some other reason, the shuffle, the card ordering, the, the hits are out of whack or something something set up in the shoe that's uh, because of a process flaw and we find it, that's even better. Now, if it goes shoe over shoe, you know that's what it's from, by the way. Uh, but look... You're tr the most important lesson that we that we give is is that you're just looking at one shoe. We're not 
throwing a million hands out and going, look, it's all the same. The casino uh, won what they should know. We're just trying to beat this one shoe. And if you can beat it significantly enough uh, to get enough flat betting or, you know, with a small progression, then you've done really well. And uh, so anyway, well, listen, Canada, thanks a lot for uh, talking about this shoe. We'll have to do another one. And, uh, you know, we'll keep folks uh, talking about the vertical and horizontal confirmation. Ask your questions down below. I'm trying to get Canada Bach to sign into YouTube and answer questions. If not, come on over to beat the casino. He's over there. How about it? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Keith. All right. Take care. Yep. Bye-bye.